What's up, everybody? Welcome to a safety meeting gameplay series. Today, we're going to play Survive the Night. Now, I feel lucky we even get to play this game. This isn't alpha, it's not beta, it's not even early release. This is stress test number two of a game that hasn't even been released yet. Now, if you're not familiar with what a stress test is, basically, it's a way for a developer to allow its own fan base to test the game before it gets released. And some of you might think, well, don't developers have people that do that for them? In most cases, yes, but those are going to be the big franchise companies, the ones that are making your Call of Duties and Fallout and things like that. When you have your indie game developers, it's usually just really small teams of people. They don't have the time or the ability to test on a bunch of different combinations of machines and rigs. So one of the things that they can do is get people involved in a stress test, and it allows them to basically have a, a testing community with almost every possible combination of computer setup there is. That way, whatever bugs anybody finds and reports, the developer can go in and smooth everything out before the game ever even gets put out for release. The company is A to Z Interactive. They are the developers of Survive the Nights, and probably the most accurate one on the market once it does get full release. So one of the things that I'm really looking forward to is the fact that we actually do have a full change of seasons, we have temperature to worry about. We have insanity to worry about. This is a PvP game, so any other players that are out there on the server that you're playing with can come up and just shoot you in the forehead if they feel like it. But to try to, not, not as a way to discourage people from doing that, but just so people aren't running rampant with kill on sight, there actually is an insanity mechanic in the game. The more people you kill, the more insane you get and the harder it is to actually control your character. I think that's how that works, if I read it correctly. I'm going to leave a link below to the developers and their websites and all their forums and everything. There's so much in this game, there's no way we're going to be able to cover it, even in an entire series. Now, the way that the Survive the Night stress test is going to work, today is day one, and the servers just went live about an hour ago, and it's going to last about seven days. So this first episode is going to be just a real quick walkthrough. We're going to see what the, the movement mechanics are, just the overall visuals of the game, and just our first impressions of the game. I'm going to see what I can do in the seven days that the servers are up and running, and we'll probably break each episode down into maybe one episode we'll have PvP and we'll just go out hunting for people to kill. Another episode, maybe we'll try to just find stuff for crafting and things like that. So I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do that. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go, but I am super excited to play the game. So let's find ourselves a server. And like I said, they only opened a couple of hours ago. So there's probably not going to be a whole lot of action just yet, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I want to play around with some of the settings and stuff like that, which means I'm going to be just standing there. And I don't want to get shot in the head while I'm doing that. So I am going to take Dallas number three here, the least populated server, just so I can get familiar with it and we'll see what happens. Well, it actually spawned me in the pitch black. So let's do this right off the bat. I believe we are still on an empty server. I don't think there's anything in here mob-wise that's going to kill us. There's eventually going to be zombies and things like that introduced into the game, but I don't think that's part of the stress test. So let's hit I and open up our inventory. Now our inventory comes in journal form. Now you can see that we have health, daily calories, hydration, stamina, body temperature, sickness, mental state, and overall health. And one of the things that I actually liked about the game is the mental state. The more you kill people, the more insane you're going to get, and the more difficult the gameplay is going to get. So it's actually going to be set up to not reward people for killing. So hopefully that'll slow down the, the whole kill on sight issue that we find in a lot of our other zombie survival servers. So I've got all of that. We have our crafting, and we're going to play around with crafting. I'm not going to go through everything here step by step. We'll go over it as we need it. I'm guessing that's probably going to be character customization, maybe as we get our clothing and things like that. I'm not sure. So our backpack contents, we have a hammer, a box of nails, and a plank. Now the hammer, I don't know if we can use that. Let's try equipping it. All right, let's see if we can use that as a weapon if we need to. 
So here we're getting our first look. This is actually my very first look at this game. Well, right off the bat, I'm not hearing any kind of player sounds or anything like that. I'm going to try my hotkeys here, see what we, I don't know how we put items down just yet. Yeah, let's look at our controls. Let's go options. So we got move forward, back, left, right. Crouch, sprint, jump, inventory, reload, and interact. Okay. So I guess we have to go into our inventory. Let me just unequip it. I don't know. We got a nice sunrise happening. Raging Bullet has joined the game. All right, I'd like to find a structure. See if we can't find a gun or some kind of weapons or something. Anything, I don't care. I'm not picky. So for right now, we're just going to take it all in, see what everything looks like, and see how the general gameplay feels. Right now, the movements and everything, that's one of the things I'm most picky about in a game, is how the movements feel. If I feel like I'm playing with a 150-pound sack of sand on my back or something, and I have to sprint everywhere, and I usually won't end up playing the game at all. So I'm real picky about the way your character moves and how fluid it is and things like that. And so far, this seems okay. <laughs> Don't forget to wash your hands. It's too late. Right, can we beat this up? Now, supposedly, if it's in the world, you can interact with it, you can break it, you can beat it up, you can do stuff with it. Yeah, there's a trail going up there, probably to that radio tower. Let's go check that out. Let's see what's up here. And this is supposed to be pretty much as close to real life survival as you can get. We've got all four seasons. We're going to go through our spring, summer, fall, and winter transitions. And because we have body temperature to deal with, we're actually going to have to cope with that, with all the different season changes and things like that. So in the winter time, we're going to have to pay special attention that we have enough firewood and things like that to keep us going all winter long. And then same thing in the summer, we got to make sure we're not going to overheat and all that other kind of good stuff. And right now I have it on the default setting which is on high so everything is turned on high not maximum usually if i'm recording i don't turn anything on maximum just to save on the computer a little bit Ooh, i think we have a tent yeah we got somebody's camp over here now i'm not sure what we can interact with yet at this point so we got a wood stove tab to open Hold tab to light. Oh, that's cool. So contents, this thing is empty, so we can't even light a fire. Let's see, can we go inside? Nope, not yet. Probably, probably later in the development we can go inside. And we got a bird bath. That's kind of odd. Oh, there's a city down there. Well, let's go that way. Let's go check this radio tower out first, and then we'll go down there. I think that's going to be the spot. So far, I haven't run into any glitches or anything like that. No freeze-ups. So that's always a good thing. Now we got another tent. Got glitched for a quick second there. So wood stove, campfire pit. So that's got nothing in it. Firewood, coal, or tinder. That lamp looks like a car shock with a lampshade put on it. Yeah, so I guess nothing, can't grab anything in here. Let's go head down to that city and see what's in there. Now, one thing that I notice is we don't have any kind of an in-game map just yet, but there is going to be a lot missing in the game for right now. 
There we go. We got our first house to explore down there. So now the interact button, I haven't checked to see if I can actually reset my key bindings yet, but the interact button is the tab button, which is a little awkward for me. But you can see that my, my crosshairs are white, and if I aim at the door handle, it turns green. That means I can hit the tab button. All right, let's see what we got in here. Can we turn lights on? No lights in the zombie apocalypse. And the refrigerator is empty, of course. Come on, give me some good stuff. Can't tell if it's just extra dark in here or if we're getting to be nighttime here shortly. Well, this place doesn't have a lot, does it? Let's continue on. All right, so we got our city is down there. Let's go check this place out real fast while we're up here. And because right now I'm not really terribly concerned about survival, not at the moment anyway, I'm just going to sprint everywhere. Actually, let's see what our... Let's see what our stats are at. So my hydration went down to 74. That's the only thing that seems to change so far is my hydration. Well, hopefully this place has something for us. If not, I'm gonna hit him with my hammer. Can I not come in this door? Nope, that one won't let me in. Oh, what was that? What the heck? Oh, okay. Apparently, I'd be able to craft that if I had... I can't tell what that first word. I'm assuming it's a rasp because a rasp is a metalworking tool. So if we had a rasp and a staple, box of screws, combination lock, and a cross driver, we'd be able to craft ourselves a lock. I'd like to be able to open the door, though. Let's go take a look around back, see what we got. Oh, okay. So if we had wood, we can shore up our windows. That's cool. Yeah, apparently we're not allowed in this place. Looks like we got some graves over here almost. All right, let's go check this city out. I think that's probably where the action is going to be at. Let's go find the good stuff. Let's see what's in store for us on this side of town. I've only noticed two people join the server so far. Ooh. That looks like it'll be fun when I have a flashlight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Come on. No, I don't want to be stuck down here. Okay, first bug. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to write that down as my first minor bug. That's not a big deal, just getting stuck there. I'm going to keep checking these fire pits and hope that there's a piece of charcoal or some wood in one of them one of these times. Yeah, I'm still not hearing footsteps or anything like that. Embry Road. All right, now we're coming up to a house here. Now this should have something in it, I would think, I hope. So as of right now, I'm defenseless. Somebody comes up to me. Oh, this isn't even an entrance to the house. Come on, have some beer. Burger Brothers. Let's take it. And Gavola Green Beans. So we got us some burgers and a can of beans. Awesome. Oh, I was hoping that was a weapon. Okay, that's where I just came from, right? No? 
That is not where I just came from. That is. Come on, give me something good. Nah, I don't want your laundry, but I'll check it. Nothing. Ooh. Coors Corn Flakes? Was it the beer company? So we got us some corn flakes, couple of boxes of corn flakes, some more burgers. Awesome. I don't know if the top and the bottom are. Apparently, that's the same thing. I'd really like is a flashlight. I don't think we have the option to sleep in the stress test. I'm gonna have to find that out. I was so excited to play the game that I didn't really look at a lot of the stuff we're gonna be able to do. Alright, I wanna find some cool stuff before nightfall. Ooh, we got a grocery store. All right, sorry about the glitchiness, but I need to knock the settings down a little bit. I can't do it in game. I have to exit the server in order to do that. So I'm gonna wait a minute. Eventually I will, so don't worry. I know one thing right now, if somebody comes up on me, it's going to scare the crap out of me. Okay, check you, yes. Wow, somebody keeps a lot of, a lot of food in their toolbox. You got some bandages, that's cool. Got nothing. Alright, so how's our inventory working then? Can check everything. What do we got? It's divided up into content here. Hydration is at 62. Our health is good. Our daily calories is at zero. So I wonder if that means I should eat something just to jump up our calories. I tried to eat in the cornflakes, but let's try it again. So it says corn, cores cornflakes, three out of four to eat. I don't know if it did anything. Keeping well-fed will improve your overall health. Your calories directly affect your condition. A well-fed player will be stronger, faster, and in better survival shape than a player who lacks proper nutrition. Maintain a good diet, and your immediate health, carrying capacity, and stamina will rise. Try eating a burger. Well, we will figure that out as we go. Let's keep exploring. Probably what we'll do is we'll see what nighttime exploration is like. If it's pitch black without a flashlight, then we'll probably wrap it up for our first episode. And I will play around with the settings a little bit and get it set up to be a little bit more recording friendly. There we go. And we'll see where we're at after that. But I do want to check out the nighttime, the nighttime uh, exploration. Need to find some guns. And I'm also going to read a little bit more into what's locked and what's available in the stress test. And I will relay all that info to you in the second episode. We're going to get more detailed into the second episode. I just wanted to play around and see what everything looked like. I'm also going to leave a link below the video that's going to give you all of the information that you need about the game. You can kind of read up about all the different gameplay mechanics and things like that. I'd go through them with you, but we'd end up being here for an hour. There is a lot 
of stuff to this game. I mean a lot. Can I get money? No. Come on, where's the weapons? I didn't pay attention to which direction I came in on. I know we came in on Embry Road, but from which way? Okay, I'm gonna go this way. We'll see what's inside this. It looks like a abandoned warehouse or something. This might be a good place for some weapons. Somebody made a little living room over there. Whoa. Potatoes, granola, beets. I don't know what a Shredo's cube is, but I'll take it. Got some more beans. Got some Bob tarts. <laughs> All right, how does our backpack work? So currently carrying 23 pounds, our maximum capacity is 100 pounds. Your carrying capacity isn't set in stone. A healthy player can carry more weight by maintaining overall health. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we're starting to get dark here. Too dark for probably you guys to see, because I can barely even see. Now, I don't know what, where we're going to end up when I log off. I don't know if we end up back here. Serial Killer of Trees has joined. That sounds like a shooter. Yeah, so I don't know if it's going to put us right back in here or not. I guess we'll find out. All right, I think because it's getting so dark, this is going to be the perfect wrap-up. I know we didn't get a whole heck of a lot accomplished, but we did exactly what we were supposed to, is just explore the game. That's our job right now. So I think what we'll do in the next episode if we get spawned back in the same spot that we're in. So as always, I appreciate everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave me a like. If you like the game, let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear about what you think. And in the next episode, we'll get a little bit deeper into the city and see if we can't find some stuff that we can get into crafting and things like that. So I thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.